In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about intra or during tennis nutrition. So welcome to the first video in a new series that I'm going to call Two Minute Tuesday. It is effectively what it says on the tin. It's going to be short, two minute, concise, informative videos that are going to involve very little rambling from me, but plenty of useful tips and information for you to develop yourselves as either coaches or aspiring professional tennis players. So as I said, today's video is all about intra or during tennis nutrition. Specifically, I'm going to be talking about carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are the predominant fuel source that athletes need in order to fuel explosive, dynamic exercise or physical activity. Now, carbohydrates when consumed through the diet effectively are converted to glycogen and then stored in the muscle to be used as fuel for physical activity. Just like a car engine, the body only has a certain capacity to store glycogen in the muscle to use and therefore we have to make sure that we're consuming the right amount in order to perform at our best. Now whilst this is very general the human body is only going to store approximately enough glycogen to offer 90 minutes or so of, of explosive dynamic physical activity. Now as you guys know there are many circumstances where a tennis match may go on for much longer than that and therefore fueling alone outside of that match or training session may not be enough and you may witness yourself a dramatic decline in tennis performance. So intra or during tennis nutrition is all about consuming carbohydrates to top up the fuel sources that you're using for that particular event or match. Now again, very generally speaking, your body is only going to be able to consume somewhere between 50 and 90 grams of carbohydrates Per hour. The main reason for this is because anything above that amount is going to cause significant gastric discomfort. You're going to have stomach cramps, you're going to have bloating, you're going to have the, the desperate need to have to rush to the toilet for example. This is obviously really, really unhelpful on occasions when you're playing a tennis match. As a general guide, you want to make sure that you consume somewhere between 50 and 90 grams of carbohydrates per hour. In this particular occasion, I do generally recommend that 60 is a rough ballpark figure. Any more than that, you potentially may get gastric discomfort. Any less than that, you're not gonna get the performance enhancing benefits of consuming intra-tennis carbohydrates. Now, there are many ways in which you can get these fuel sources on board. My advice would be to get as much variety as physically possible. So these carbohydrate sources may come in the form of an energy drink, such as a Lucozade or a Powerade, for example. They may come in the form of solid foods, such as rice cakes, and jam. You could also consume fruits high in sucrose and sucralose, such as pineapple. The key here is to make sure that you're consuming enough per hour. To give you a couple of examples, three rice cakes with jam plus a 500 ml bottle of Lucozade will give you around about 63 grams of carbohydrates. Another example is a pack of Snacker Jacks, 200 grams of pineapple, and one 60 ml energy gel that you get in one of those sachets. That again will give you approximately 60 grams of carbohydrates. These, both of these examples provide enough carbohydrates per hour to effectively allow you to keep those carbohydrate sources topped up and your muscles functioning efficiently. Now, as said, you will be able to consume enough carbohydrates in your general diet outside of that tennis match to fuel yourself for approximately 90 minutes. That doesn't mean you should start fueling during the tennis match after that 90 minute point because of course it takes the body time to break down those foods that you've consumed or liquids and actually metabolize them into usable glycogen for the muscle. So my advice would be to start fueling somewhere around about the 50 or 60 minute point. Whenever you get that minute and a half change of ends, that is the time about 50 or 60 minutes into your match when you should start considering fueling that around 60 grams of carbohydrates per hour. Anyway, short and sweet, that's it for today's video. Please do get in touch, comment below if you do have any questions. I'm more than happy to answer your questions by doing more of these Two Minute Tuesday videos. To make sure you get notified of when we release them, please do hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of their release. I'll see you on Friday.